Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. It's time again, ladies and gentlemen, for some more HOM 7 Trial by Fire. We're on episode 8. We are. I know. I'm excited, too. All right, let's head on over here and claim the mine. Ooh, until dangers may lurk in the bowels of this abandoned mine. Do you dare enter? I do. I do dare. <gasps> no, it's haunted. Run away. Or just kill them. One of those two I'm leaning toward the just kill them situation as opposed to, oh, it's haunted, run away. But it's, you know, either way. Both work. I didn't check my X's this time, guys and gals. We could be without. Oh, well, let's say we have everything. It looks like we do indeed have everything that we could ever need, hope, or want for in our entire existences. There we are. There we are. That they'll shoot to you with that. Allow me to also follow up with a little slappity poop right upside your head. I want to read this again. What does it do? Oh, only plus four? I thought it was way more than that. That's fine. Bam! Ooh, we can go again. What? Victory! Alright, well, we're really close to winning this, so... Yep. That whole scenario, ladies and gentlemen. We're also pretty close to, I think, ending the map. I'm not sure. So like I said, I want to get to at least one or two more levels with our, with our big boy here, Hathor, before we switch on over to someone else. But if we're almost out of the map, eh, it's one of those questionable situations that we find ourselves in. Alright, you didn't quite make it, and you're still sitting there doing nothing. Excellent. Exactly how I had planned it. Alright, we're gonna end our turn again. We have a very large amount of money laying around at this point, which is cool. We need to get some more stone, however. And unfortunately, the people don't produce stone, so that's not gonna work for us. I'm gonna trade out a bunch of stone, and... Yes, repair. Is it going to take a full day to repair? Okay, it's fine. All right, I guess we'll come over here. We'll face off against the Minotaur. No, the, the Manticore of Doom. It's fine. Soon they will fear the name Bobby McSquiggums, which is always something that was kind of fun. Uh, I originally started using the name in uh, Asheron's Call 2. For those of you guys who are wondering where the history of Bumpy are, Wondering about the history of Bumpy McSquiggums, I guess. Yes, in uh, back in the day when Asheron's Call 2 was a thing and it was popular and it was one of the best and still, in my opinion, probably the best MMO ever made. Again, my opinion. Um, yeah, Asheron's Call 2. I came up with a character, Bumpy McSquiggums, that I used and I actually became one of the top people on the server. I dare say the top, but I'll, I'll say top three if I want to be generous to others. I was one of the top three people on the server, and it was uh, the PvP, the FFA PvP server. So, free for all PvP. There was only uh, there were like different factions you could join, like kingdoms. There was Dominion, Neutral, Order, and Chaos. Or Shadow. I, I think the the last one was Shadow. Yeah, it was Shadow instead of Chaos. Anyhow, um, you could join those, and each one of those had its own stronghold. So those are the only places that I couldn't go into or other people because I ended up being Shadow. I was a bad guy. I was. I would kill anybody if they were level 1 to, uh, well, 100. It's 100 a thing. Level 1 to, I don't know, 200 or whatever the max level was. I would kill them. Nobody made it that high. I think the highest level person might have been in their 90s. So let's say 1 to 100. I didn't discriminate. I killed, e I was an equal opportunity murderer. But, you know, not everybody likes that sort of thing. Oh, I rather enjoyed it, and I was pretty darn good at it, if I do say so myself. So, all that being said, yeah, I uh, I went around and I murdered people, and people were actually afraid of the name of Bumpy McSquiggums. It's pretty cool, pretty cool thing to be able to accomplish, in my, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe it's stupid and silly. I don't know, I enjoyed it, it was fun. Very, very enjoyable, in my very not-so-humble opinion. So there you have it, the history of Bumpy McSquiggum. Or at least the start. 
The origin story? I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, it's there. These Manticore did not manage to do much. Oh, they didn't accept my... I'm so very confused right now. What's Oh, you know what? I think it's they take so long to dissolve. Yeah, that's what it is. They have a very slow death animation, so... I was still thinking I had another... Ah, I got you. I got you. And we got our level up, which is fantastic. Which now means we can go back and actually grab new troops. Which I'm pretty stoked about. We got some regal armor. I don't know what that does. It looks like we have more than one of those. Two defense and five leadership. Apparently we have three pieces of that. I think something's broken. I think I'm, like, mass producing things. And I shouldn't be doing that. Like, I feel like I didn't loot additional rings of celery, <clears throat> so I don't know why I have them. I, I feel like I'm duping items without actually, like, I don't remember getting this. I haven't been paying attention when we just walked over and murdered that big group of guys. Maybe they had it, maybe I'm being crazy, but I feel like they didn't, and these are all random items that I shouldn't have. Oh, hello, guy. Well, I guess we'll level up. We're probably going to end up losing the town, but I may end up actually buying the things in the town. Just so he can't reinforce himself. So there's that. What troops do you have? I'm recruiting all of your troops, just because I can. There it is. So, if you want the town, you're welcome to take it, but at what horrible cost? That is the question you must ask yourself. Alright, meanwhile, we're waiting on you to do what you do, and I guess we can go back to Fosheim, and we can, uh, probably do, start doing a little bit of extra upgradeitude, and we can also recruit some characters, so we're close to the end of the week, I'm gonna wait another week. I know it's risky, could always go into the week of the plague and then be super sad, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Alright, we are firing on a Renekon. There is a shield. Magic shield! Curse the I should have known that would have been too easy. Maybe we'll have more luck with one of the other cadets. See the bright side, half all. At least we will have to crush some elven skulls the old-fashioned way. Sure. Okay, quest updated. Okay, repair the second cannon and try again. <laughs> Or I suppose that's fair. Did she level up from that? She should have gotten some experience for it, but I don't think she did. And where is the second cannon? Is it right there? Oh, it is. Good. Well, we're heading back to the town anyway, so... So she should be on her way. There she goes. She did not want to move. I do not know what that was all about. Oh, you're faster than I am. Or roughly the same speed as I am. Alright, well, I'll chase you down eventually. You can be mildly inconvenient and super annoying. I'll allow it this time. Creatures cannot get the full flanking bonus, the week of scouts. Okay, well, that's totally fine with me. I'm okay with this. Alright, and you disappeared. Huh. Well, that's a thing, I suppose. Alright, well, we're gonna go and clear out some more of the random stuff that's laying around. She is going to get reinforcements, also doing the next part of the quest. Which I believe she can do right now. I will repair it. And we'll be able to get troops right now, actually. Go back to Fosheim, and we need five of those. I believe we have plenty of money to get that. And we shall. Alright, we are not going to go crazy with the recruiting here. Well, a little crazy, but not insanely crazy. I feel like the bears aren't all that impressive. Like, we like we have a bunch of them, but eh. And we don't have enough money for you! Actually, we do, but we don't have enough of that, which is okay, because we still have a turn that we have to wait and go for, so. It's all good. 
Alright, we shall endeth our turn once more. We shall fire again. This shield is too strong for such a small projectile. We would need to throw something much bigger at it to disrupt such magic. Something bigger? You might just have given me an idea, old friend. On to the remaining cannon! Oh dear, what are we gonna launch? Alright, on to the remaining cannon. Hmm. That does not bode well for us. Um, yeah, I know, we're gonna upgrade you. Hold on, one moment. Trade, do we get two more? Trade one more. Alright. So now, if I'm not wrong, we should be able to get all three of you. And we did! Yay! Alright, so we are now rocking a fairly decent army. Still not, like, absurdly strong, but, you know, fairly decent. And the third cannon is over there. Where we shall finally meet our demise, or our success, I don't know. One of those two things. Alright, onward to this. We shall do battle for combat. We'll see us with a victory without a loss. It's fine. It's a little skewed, but I'll take it. I could have probably gone with the experience on that one. This will take a little bit of a finagling to get right. I think we'll still manage it okay. Alright. Let's scoot you over slightly. Let's move you right there. Move you there. We have all of our runes. We're ready to go. And combat begins. Oh, it's really cool, too, that they're so far away. Alright. Going to defend. Going to put you there. I'm leaning toward waiting with you. I'm going to try to get him with a blasty attack. Alright, so once all three of them move into position, I'm going to drop the rune on top of them. Right there. Then I'm going to hit this guy here, and then I'm going to hit that guy. Actually, the front runner. Boom. Alright. It's our time to shine once more. The guy at the bottom again. Hit the guy at the top. Oh, we get another shot at it, okay. Bonk, bonk. Alright, defend, 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 explode. Not too bad, defend, and defend, and defend. Not looking super good for those boys. Well, it's also not looking super bad either. Alright, I'm gonna wait, defend, 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 maneuver to there, defend and defend, and defend. Another casual shot, and our first kill's coming here soon. All 27 of you, a oh, gall. 26 of you are no longer alive. Lost seven more. Defend, 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 wait. Defend. And murder. Alright, so the 210 easily take down the 9, and. Yes! We are quite good. Finally get crystal, too. Jeez. I kind of wish I did that early on. Would have saved ourselves a lot of resource trading. Eh. Still. Could have been worse. Well, I guess I should get the gold and then move down. Eh. Alright, let's end the turn. Snag that up. And then we're going to head down to deal with him. She's going to continue her adventure down here to resources. 10 and 10. We're close. We can make it a reality. We can make it a cheaper reality if I remember that I have this guy here for a reason. I know, it's a bit awkward. I have been pretty bad about this. 
Wait, what was what was the other one? Sorry. Ten crystal. Okay. So I need crystal. Alright, one, two, three. Okay, and repair. It'll take her one turn, and that will be that. Oh, look at us with our genius moves. Now we're rid of that shield, but we'll still have to take Renacon. The old fashioned way. Breaking elf bones and crushing elf skulls. Has there ever been any other way? Muta ha ha ha. Alright, so he sounds super excited. Quest updated, turning point. Defeat the dark elf leader, Agbeth. Aww. I was hoping that would have been the end of the quest, but apparently not. Alright, we're gonna head back at some more troops, and then we're gonna be looking pretty solid. Alright, let's come down here and do battle with this guy. And no quick combat this time. Unfortunately, we must do the fight. For realsies. Alright, gonna wait. Defend, gonna... Oops, I guess move him forward. That was not part of the plan, but... Sort of work. I'm gonna wait with you. Defend, defend. I guess throw you there. Okay, they're gonna stay split up, that's fine. So we're gonna put that there, and we're going to take out you. Oh, I forgot the hero attack. I'm a bad, I'm a bad bumpy. Oh, we got fortunate with an extra attack. Yay! Alright, let's end this guy. Very good. And an easy victory once more. I'm super happy. Alright, let's go and snag up this. Get ourselves some more magic. And I suppose at this point, we can come over and we can kind of transfer some troops to our gal. Unfortunately, folks, I think this is going to have to be an early episode. I'm going to have to break it off here, and uh, I'm not sure when the next episode is going to be. I'm actually feeling really, really not good. I was trying to get through this recording, but I'm starting to get really, really sick to my stomach. So I'm going to go. Hopefully I don't throw up, but we'll see. And as soon as I'm able to return and continue to record, I will, guys and gals. Uh, anyway, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.